Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting and everything and amazing propaganda cast with me, your host, Imperial Dane. The one, the only master propaganda here, like defender of the fatherland, off you to 2v2 on the scout. In the west, it is Master Marius and Oh My God 3 2 1. Not to be confused with Oh My God 1 2 3. Obviously, big difference there. All the way, fighting here for the Red Army, the Soviet Union, Comrade Stalin, and the Second Guards Mechanized Corps, tasked with shattering the German lines here somewhere in Eastern Prussia to push onwards towards Berlin. In the East, this Frost and Flatsch, you're fighting here for the Wehrmacht, Germany, Deutschland, here with the. Oh, let's just go. With the 5th SS Panzer Division Viking here with German Infantry, Blitzkrieg, Storm, and Jäger Armour. German Infantry 250 half tracks, dash one. Veteran squad leaders, stormtroopers, assault and hold, fragmentation bombs. We got counter attack tactics with K1s, shock troopers, reconnoitre flights from other Russia, and the B4. Penal trooper conscripts and conscripts conscripts, plus gun leaders MD42s for the Germans. And as always, a big hearty thanks to my Patreon supporters. Without them and their continued support, the propaganda cost would not be possible. So thanks to every one of those. Other people can follow the heroic and delightful example by Patreon Patreon, or they can donate by PayPal. Links in the description. And if you're in the market for pre-owning coming free, you can do some other link in the comments. Use the code stug 3 g as written there. And I get a nice little commission there. Oh, I should have comment, like, share, subscribe. So, center seats for the conscripts up north here. We got Frost moving forwards here for Germany. In the south, we got Flatchy here clashing off with, oh my god, 3 2 1. Gunnius Pioneers clashing in there. And Gunnius will have to fall back here in the face of such stout German violence. Up north here, conscripts push straight for the car pioneer. Out maneuvering here, Flatchy, of course, focusing hard south, has left his car pioneer wide omitted to, oh my god, 3 2 1. Up north, though, Master Marius, though, is seeing his plans masterfully fall apart here, though, at the same time, he pulls the same trick with the car pioneer. That said, Frost has a much larger force here, which could occupy the northern fuel point. We'll have to see more pilons from here for Master Marius. Scrams around the calf point here. Flatchy there, a bit torn here between the southern force, but also regaining his calf point here from the Soviets. In fact, again, with both calf points here, they really only connected with one point. The rest of the German holdings so far are just utterly disconnected. Up north here, Pioneers with the machine gun support. Manage to overcome there. One of Master Marius penal trooper scores here in the south here. Conscort being slowly whittled down here by Frost forces. Fourth gun is what there for Flatchy. As he continues to fight here for well, control of the car point. Finally managed to force, oh my god, 3 2 1, they're off. Pioneers close being wiped out here. Of North Frost Pioneers sent packing as more troops rush in. Their machine gun force reposition deal with more socialist advances. Cut off point there, at least flushed for socialism. But the southern one remains very much in Marxist hands here. Oh my god, 3 2 1, rushes in more troops only to rush them out. They once realized he's got not much else to rush in now. So best to get out of there while the going's good. Or at least you're likely to get out of there alive. No tech yet for the Germans. South here, we've these pushing for that southern point here again. Finally capturing that carve point back. Fuel point or carve point being grabbed as well. And center victory point alongside northern point here. We got here the Master Marys with a nice deep flank here. That's set though. Frost seems to suspect something. Maybe he spotted something the other way though. Pims are going for the deep flank. And in the south here, victory point seized. Center victory point being seized with the gun leaders as well. There's a lot of maneuvering here. Machine narrowly still not enough here. Getting up and do it by the penal troopers. Forcing here Frost to fall back from the fuel point. As the entire position for the north is getting a rather untenable. Center being grabbed here. Fun fact about the 5th SS Panzer Division making is while initially it was a Scandinavian Volunteer Division, later on though they would actually just remove the, most of the Scandinavian Volunteers from to other divisions. It was actually primarily the, the 11th SS Panzer Grenadier Division Nordland. Fun fact, I'm just turning into more Germanic SS unit. Sent here, we got Gunners versus the engineers there. Pimps are continuing to the machine gun. I think Frost can have to retreat here before his unit gets utterly annihilated here by Master Marius. Engineers, Pimps are up north here. Neither Flatchy or Oh My God, I've yet to pick a command here. Engineers round it. Conscript pushing 40 into an exposed gun escort here. Ultimately, they're going to completely have to collapse here. Can Flatchy move to assist here? Who knows? The four kind of ideas that which of these commands could go for? Maybe Storm Doctrine? Oh, this is supposed Blitzkrieg or Jaeger Armour sort of fits here. As for Oh My God, 3 to 1. I mean, pretty much any of these work. Of course, there's certain emphasis on T 3045s. Bunker up there for Frost. And he's firing around the car point. Pimps up north in a bit of trouble as well. There are more conscripts here for Master Marius. 
South side in gears rushing at the gun easy under Flatch's command. So he a hectic first five minutes though, so I mean that's delightful. Should enforcing healing here. Could go for like a 250 half check here to put pressure on the so it's fast to give a bit of uh, mechanization going there. Could be an idea there. Probably won't do it though, but I like to always point it out there's an option. As you know. I kinda like German half tracks. Particularly the 250s half nice, but also the 250. They're, they're actually equally nice, I think. Anyways, troops sitting out there from the base. Like to make a nice company here from Flatchy. He's pursuing the knees here. And we do get storms here for Frost. There we go. Adding some MP40s. Always a good upgrade there. They pack some very high DPS and the storms with the MP40s there. Which is going to combine with a good ambush for the tactical advance. They can actually have a really good chance to wipe from units. So well handled stormtroopers are really powerful infantry. As a fun fact, up north here, penal troopers routed here. Going in deeper and deeper here though with these stormtroopers here. Will he commit to more than one though? Is the big question as a person south here. Bit of skirmishing here, but Flatchy is managing to keep Oh my god, 3 to 1 away from the southern view point. That said, oh my god, is clearly not the type to be stopped. Like a kid who wants to get into the cookie jar, he finds a way, perhaps. We got the 2 to 2 out there for Flatchy. Frost with more grenadiers. He did suffer some losses there. Would appear no half tax. Sadly, Storms up North here ran some issues. Got rather brutally manhandled here by Master Marius. By the looks of it, though, it may have been a botched ambush he was trying to set up there. Ordered them to hold fire, and then, of course, they couldn't respond, perhaps. That's happened to some players. Definitely something to be mindful of there. As it can quickly cost you a lot of storms with end up then really doing much there. Since otherwise, I mean, it looks like in a close quarters engagement, they should they typically just beat the stuff thing out in the end. You can see the how little bit damage it's so very likely what happened there is like, you know, only too late kind of went, oh yeah, I need them to like to shoot back. That's about a bit the tricky part of the whole fire ambush you to place it up for the uh, stormtroopers. You really gotta pay attention or it's gonna bite you in the ass. They also can't expend to reinforce that 33 manpower. Aerocons here for Master Marius. Tech there for him as well. None yet for Oh My God 3 to 1. Storms up on the move again there for your Deutschland. North here fighting between Master Marius and Frost continues at a brutal pace here. And I imagine, yeah, T7 there for Master Marius. As for Oh My God 3 to 1. Would not be surprised if he ends up just moving straight there for the mechanized on my company. And some T-34s. And south here, Contra is routed. North here, Master Marius, men here running into issues here with Frost's forces. Got the Panzer at Canone Field Seek out there. And we got Tech for Frost and Dust Vaterland. So, no light vehicles from at all. Kind of bolty strategy here, I would have to say. That's not to say you can't make it work, but typically, if I go for this kind of strategy, I typically add a Panzer Grenadier score with the Panzer Flex, just in case of like a T Sin or anything like nasty like that. And I think in this case, he is quick to cancel the tech, so he can actually go for a pack 40 most likely. So, yeah, Frost Plan here, slightly derailed to put it gently here by Master Marius T Sin Light Tank. Bursting through the lines here. Calf point once balls being assailed here. Very good work there by Master Marius. In the south here, Flatchy having some slight difficulties with Oh My God. 3 to 1 once more. That's going to be a like to make a nice company most likely here. Unless he's got some other brilliant idea, I guess. Yep, like to make a nice company there. We got Veteran Squad is going up there. Thumbs up. And use the conscripts here by the southern point. S mines on the curve point there. Flatchy's had enough of any harassment there. He's going for a machine and give our team himself. He's already got the pack 40 out. Very good there. But the Allies are definitely off to currently a very strong position here. Holding most of the map and crucially, soon all of the victory points. Decent rushing in here. Pack 40 will need to surround deal with that swiftly. Good shot there. From the Panzer out there. Can only field sick. Might get another shot off here. Nope. Hits a brick wall. My god, you can see Russian tanks are tough, you hit a brick wall. Couldn't you just let me live this a moment? Nine. 
North here, Truth Pushing Forge comes around here as Frost launching a large assault. And it's definitely some uh, very much more durable Grenadier Squads with a bit more offensive firepower there. Pat the Wiped here as Master Moves from there. Go, forgot about the S Mines, causing it's been a fair bit there. Oh my god, 3 to 1 does ultimately commit to Armored Assault T with the T 35. Radio Intercept, B Crew Repair Training, IS 2s, and the IL 2 Storm Make Attacks. No major surprise he went for Armored Assault there. I mean, is that all again, like, you know, got motive for the T 35s? But there you go. Bad news here for Flatch, he's going to this and in support here from Frost ensures the Pack 40 remains out of hands there of the Marxists, mostly. And South here, deep flank here, regain the fuel point here from, oh my god, 3 to one who is definitely going to move straight ahead for some armor. The question is, does it go, try and go straight for the IS-2, which would certainly be a bit inadvisable, or does it go for the T-34s? Up north here, the T-Sin engaging the Stormtroopers, Pack 40 has only now arrived here for Frost. At this point, the Frost can get away with some tech here, and certainly Flatchy could also consider tech that he hasn't already. No, he's actually building a medic bunker. And he's assisting team in the south to rush Norfolk here. Let me see how he does it. Obviously, the T-70 can put a bit of a limit there what he can do, but could also give him some options here if the T-70 takes enough damage from the Pack 40 here. Yeah, may actually be able to then perhaps consider deep flank here and try and cut off the retreat path. We also get a fuel cache here for Master the areas. Great investment there for both him and his teammate. Definitely only adds to the uh, pressing matter of swarms of Soviet tanks. Veteran Gunners with the Penal Troopers. Or moving up there round to the Veteran Gunners here up north and he needs a bit of trouble. Rushing in with the anti-tank rough wielding Strafbart there with the PTS-41. Old squad about to get wiped out here. Need to be careful. Got a swarm of contracts here from Oma Golf. 3 to 1 moving in there. Frost are narrowly able to retreat the squad there before they get exterminated here. Oh, the other vertical the squad also needs to get out of there before they get turned into uh, Soviet target practice. Attack for Frost. None yet for Flatchy, who is also by way at this stage the owner player without a commander. Rough grenade the advancing horse of infantry under Oma Golf. 3 to 1's Marxist commands. Up north there, not much happening for now. Germans need to do something here to swing the initiative back in their favor. Meanwhile, we got the tech there for Oh My God and mechanized Armour Company for Master Marius. Question is, will he try and go for the K1 or will he just add more immediate shock effect with a fast T-34-6? Causing healing here, tech almost done. Still none for Flatchy. We shouldn't give air there as the sister fleet additional field gun. Ooh, nasty hit there on the MG42. Grab Northern Point with the Stormtroopers. Again, hold fire. Again, risky, but at the same time can also set up some really powerful ambushes with tactical advance. But still, if you're not paying attention, it can cost you the Storms quite a bit. Unfortunately, because Frost is finally out early, he really has been able to leverage the match because there you go. Storms with the Conscripts here. This time they're allowed to fire here. Up close again, even like these ranges, they can do a lot of damage with MP40s. They have some incredible DPS there on that one. Roughly comparable to that of the Commando Squad. Except their four-man squad was the Commander's five. And they have to upgrade to the submachine guns, the Commander's doesn't. Infantry there preventing the Pack 40 from easing up to pursue the T-70. Stormtroopers there could maybe for a smoke grenade to get themselves a bit better alive. You'll have to see... Flatchy finally taking up your frost could go for the spawn of course soon and start pushing for some fast panzer valve here as the Soviets will relatively fast. Oh my god, it's also got his take up there. So likely a T-35, but again, there is that possibility here, that inkling of a chance. These guys gonna go straight for the IS-2 heavy tank. And try and steamroll his opponent. In fact, there might be some coordination in that regard with the fuel cash. Could be a hint. Again, if they're sort of ranged teammates, that you know, it is an IS-2 plan here for oh my god, three to one. Got an Ardmere out here for Flatchy that I think is an excellent addition. Thumbs up to that. Can Ardmere is always handy to have. Back here, Trip Enforcing Healing here for Frost. No support armor court as of yet. I hope he's not trying to go for tier 4. Okay, there we go. We. Yep, support armor court, but inch enough is back closer to his teammate's base. 
so base so far no sign of medium armor and for oh my god 31 no sign of the t-35 and again command points wise fuel wise i'd say there is ample evidence to suggest that he might be struggling for the eyes so again risky but with the sort of lead the certs have it can sort of work out now he does go for the t-35 i don't mean it's good I mean, he's probably in the sort of an area band of, you know, situations where he can probably get away with it. But even then, I typically wouldn't recommend it. And we got the spawn crop for Flatchy as well. Frosty can soon go for the Panzerkampfwagenfeer, though. Versus a large amount of maps, more, you know, dense Soviet armor, like the t 35s and the K1s. Stoop 3 gs be a nice addition. I wouldn't blame him for going for a Panther anyways. Smoke being deployed here to try and mitigate the surf valve having deployed against here against Farachi's men. Thumbs up. The utility of the mortar is definitely not something to be understated. In the center, they're going to use for the machine support here up north. Another push here by Frost, but the T7 continues to be an absolute nightmare. And there you go. Four mother rash of storms are popping a certain hole. Attacks of Valencia ripping through the stormtroopers. They can't believe how much they want in Mother Russia. It is nothing against. Oh. Well, MP40 and really determined Germans. Keeping us the pack 40. Frost can soon go for the Panzerkampfwagenfeer. Good shot there, right for the frontal armor. Northern point for the stormtroopers. We got the fuel cache, of course, still running fuel. Oh my god, T35 has arrived. And we do get a K1 heavy tank here for Master Marius. Black Panther for Frost. What? I definitely think the um, Austrian here is a bit of a peculiar choice by Frost. I mean, unless he's planning to follow up with the fast Stug, and even then, I would recommend the Stug first, then the Austrian under current circumstances when it comes time wise. I mean, 16, 17 ma minutes with his opponent who's got a good, you know, chunk of the map for some time. I think going Austrian first is a bit audacious by Frost. Bit audacious, even when he's planning a Stug second. We damn well need to be planning a Stug second for this to work, even remotely. K1, there's almost done for Master Marius. South here, the T-35 has allowed. Oh my god, 3 to 1 to break open Flatchy on the front line there. There we go, Flak Panzer Fiat here for Frost. Got the aircraft knocked out of the skies. Got the Panzer Kampfang out for Flatchy. Mission in Gavest Engineers. We got Conscript Units from further closer to the car point. Well, up north, penal troops advancing for Master Marius, and we got the K1 there rolling ahead for the Red Army. Things are about to heat up otherwise. Frost is about to need a Stug. Ein Sturmgeschutz, drei Ausführung G. And then the Flak Panzer South to assist his teammate. Of course, Need the Cover doesn't lose that one. We do have some Telemans from Flatchy, by the way. Thumbs up to that. North here, though, Master Marius once more pushing back Frost a bit there. South here, can you scram the point here? Le Lloyd called in against an area where the Osman is, is ambitious? I'm not entirely sure what he's hoping to achieve with that. I mean, obviously, again, the Osman isn't nearly as good as the Allied anti aircraft stuff, but at the same time, I hardly, you know, ignore it either. In this case, the does help the Osman was busy with other targets, targets, but now we've got the 2 2 and the Osman, so yeah, one aircraft shot out of the sky here. And another one. Well then, that was a bit of blow to the Soviet Air Force there. Almost got the T-35 there. Good kill here. Bit of blow to my god. Someone's infantry and overall forces just taking some beatings. Up north frost here though. Versus the advancing forces of Master Marius. Can use the forces here. There's two conscripts committed against the veteran Grenadiers. Frost with more Grenadiers. Sadly, you say no additional Panzer Grenadiers or Stormtroopers. South the armored car there. Pushing him with Grenadier support against... Oh my god, southern flank, which is running in some headaches here. Will he go for another T-35? Will he try and go for the Ice-2 to try and turn the tide with something bigger? And Frost here, of course, isn't going for any additional armor. He's just relying on a pack and the Ostwind. It's still not something I'd recommend. So there's certainly the hint he starts have the suppression bulletin for the Flak Panzer. Which actually is a quite handy bulletin. It's probably like one of the more, shall say, notable bulletins that actually adds additional elements to a unit. Like most bulletins just like in a slight stab buff or something or increase in build speed. But this one directly adds some more serious capabilities to the Flak Panzer. Set K1 with the Osprey. Need to get that one out there. P1 
Pack 40 is further down there. He's about to lose. He could pop a smoke grenade with the Stormtroopers, actually. I don't think he's going to quite manage that, though. Yeah, I lost the flag pounds in the end. Could have tried to pop in the smoke grenade there, but first place just never could turn that one once they're under duress, obviously. Is he playing tier 4? Yes, he is planning tier 4. And not a super fan of that. And there, go for Mother Russia. Again, it has its limitations. One of those is running strange in MD42. Similar to running into heavily armed stormtroopers with a tactical advance. For Mother Russia, it's also kind of weak against, you know, MD42s. Turns out, in general, just storms of bullets tends to count it fairly well. Ura! Ura this! Ah! Oh, I was never trained for this. Needs to get some troops down with the penal to flank here. This packs are going to be toast. We've got saddle charges here. Rip right through there, but there you go. Might see saddle charges named the 42 AC. Could also try and pop a sort and hold here. Ah, uh, could actually perhaps lead to white P on Master Marius. Or perhaps he doesn't need it. Almost had it there, but not quite. Heavy Panther up there for Frost. As for Flatchy, not much there. No addition Panzer Waffe. He's going for Blitzkrieg Bower, the command tank, Panzer Tactician, Tactical Movement, for Conzo Flight, and the Stuka Close as well. We do get a command tank, we do get Tactical Movement. That's kind of Blitzkrieg, actually. Tactical Movement is kind of Blitzkrieg. Up north, though. Frost here, sailing here, the position of Master Marius. A lone conscript there left to fend off against the Germans is rapidly routed here in the face of hardy veteran grenadiers. And there you go, we do get the Irish to have a tank out here for, oh my god, 3 2 1. Command chain there, almost done for him. Tried to recruit the field gun here. Yeah, we can see there, oh my god, trying to stop for the ice again. We sort of hit into that spot, but again, trying to start for the big tanks without sufficient armor. First place has his risk. See, leaving too much, you know, pressure on the remaining units to hold the line until then. K1 rushing forwards here for Master Maria. Straight into the Panzer at Kanona Fiercik with a target weak point order loaded up. Good shot there. Panther first there. More shots in the K1 there. Heavy Panzer going out there for Frost and the German army. See, 5th SS Panzer Sean Viking. 7th SS Panzer Grenadier Company. You can use the last two spot rolling in here. Shot bounces. Pack crew's about to get hosed in. We've got the command tank, which, while certainly very enthusiastic, won't really cut it against the IS-2's heavy army. It does deploy a smoke shell here to cover up the retreat of his remaining units. And he's going for another Pack 40. I think he's going to have to go for Stoogs here. And for Frost, I suppose his plan is going to be now going for a Panther E Panzer Kampfwagen 5. Or not. Of north here, though, Master Mage on the push is now up to two KB-1 heavy tanks, which one pack 40 will definitely not cut it against. No matter how many weak points the target. It's just too many. Target's a weak point, but my Leutnant says too many weak points! Says too many weak points! There you go, pack crew wiped out. South here, Panda 4, then trouble. The Soviets are basically just swarming the Germans with intense amounts of armor there and the Germans just lack the firepower to respond they're basically relying in both cases on a single pack which against like you know this is just not gonna cut it Frost there with the Panther the Panzer Kampfwagen but until then he is pretty much he's helpless against the K1s Flat at the release does have one pack 40 but against one IS-2 it would require a uh, somewhat inept Soviet command to allow that one pack frog to beat the eyes too, or a really, really smart German player. Like, I mean, we're talking fiendishly smart. You know, Kaiser so smart, but uh, yeah. Anyways, while the Pimps was over, the Stormtroopers almost got the Manali in return, but again, the double K1 heavy tanks. Could have maybe tried for a smoke grenade. Yeah, ultimately wiped, though. Quite a blow there to Frost, of course, still has his veteran Gunnadiers, who are. Quite good. Panther's almost done. That set the two K1s was the Panther. Could perhaps be in trouble there. Go pack 40 running here from Flatchy to assist his beleaguered teammate. Eyes 2 there. Blasting with 122mm gun. The Germans run from being a good spot to be in, in, in a 
Not so great spot. There you go. Panther arriving here though for Frost and Dust Fartland. Panther 4 sitting out there. Need to fix up the command tank. Got the ball still here for Flatchy. IS-2 bombarding. Contra there taking some hits. Pack bounces off the IS-2's frontal armor. Northy Panther sitting out waiting for some support first though. Diving in and there we go. Going for that damage K1 here. Shot bounces. Panther shot does not bounce off the K1. Another bounce. Again, no bounds, and certainly in the actual war, the Panther would have been easily superior to the K1 in pretty much every aspect. Shoots, misses, pims on the flank, even they dealt with infantry. There goes Salt and Hope, two thumbs up to Frost. He did try for this anti tank upgrade there, but it's just too late. More bounces here. Many more bounces. That is actually a fair amount of bounces, considering everything, though most of the shots did come at longer ranges. Surprised didn't try to finish off that one, and there you go. Master Mayor's called and Shock Trooper's called practically just hot in the smoke beam. All right, we hear the elite assault troops. What is our purpose? All right, we need you to throw smoke grenade. Really? Okay. Could we, like, maybe kill some fascists? No, we just need you for the smoke grenade. Okay. I got the K1 there. Suddenly, the tables turn on Master Marius, and the shock troopers there. Again, find them falling a bit shorter against all the veteran grenadiers. And also the severe, massive armor chassis of the Panther. But the armor, you just are oh, laughing. Well, Jorgen, I would be surprised if the body armor was helpful against 50 tons of Krupp steel on German O engineering. Come on, turn there's the conscripts. More storms was up for Frost. Thumbs up to that. Molotov and the Gunnidus pushing them back here. Ice 2 there with 13 kills, veteran to 1. Shot bounce off the Ice 2's frontal armor. Going to pack 40. Reinforcement hitting here for Flatchy. North here, Pimsel going to come from 14 to the veteran going to DC. 3140. Really, I mean, veteran gun is really can pack off some firepower, typically find. I know, I mean, Frost, I think, think I mean, overall, I think, been making fairly good use of the command. I just would like to see maybe a 250 half type, but that's a minor complaint. Panther, of course, going to meet up north against the K1 veteran D2. Would not be surprised if Master Marius' next move is going to be an issue 5 here. Flat you with a bit of reconnaissance. So it's having none there. Good shot from the Panther on the K1 there. And he's a force fall back in the face of the clearment of racial of one heavy tank here. Panther gaining veterans one with the KB1. In the center there, then another sort of assault here. We got the command tank up against that. Is he also planning tier four? Yes, it's the answer from Flatchy, it would appear. We shouldn't give in the same as the conscripts of North here. Panther there, finding way there. Four killed veterans one. K1 shoots, misses. Panther does not miss. K1 bounces with the second shot, but there you go. Pims got close. He's going to get the Nansen tank shell charge here. I think Frost forgot about that, and there we go. That's going to cost this Panther a fair amount of health and damage. That's it. It's getting close to Vetsony 2. Half check out here for Frost. Oh my. Mechanized infantry. Wunderbar. As you find there from Master Marius, as expected. So, not a bad addition to have. Help to keep his troops at the front line reinforced, and particularly with five main gunners, there's certainly more reason to keep them reinforced in one piece. Plus, can also, of course, give his men for two more mobility by moving from point A to point B faster, so a lot of reason to go for half to here. Thumbs up to Frost. Two thumbs, in fact. So, ready to see a half to get this late. Oh, pack is in the eyes, too. Almost got it. No heavy pants go up yet for Flatchy. Move the half track perhaps a bit closer to the gun. It is, of course, later on once he gets enough veterans, he can reinforce them from that distance here. But oh, good shot there from the K1 there. Wipes his veteran gun. It is, and there you go. You should fight there for Master Marius. We got 169 to 86. More pioneers for Flatchy. Half track in pace with the infantry as they advance northwards.
Jock was thrown to the MD-42. We got the vertical using bar as well. Panther once more going for the K1 gun. He's being bombarded with it as well. Half of the F calls remaining in reserve. Not going to get too close with that one unless he has to. But there you go. H5 arrives here to give the Panther a bit of a headache. And the penal troops also means the Panther's going to have a bit of a hard time just slugging it out there with the H5 with that further support. Storms over there. May want all of them to. Oh, yeah, never mind. They're all taking too much damage. We'll have to retreat. Frost will need more armor for this. Or more infantry. In the south here, though, Flatcher continues his. Battles here with, oh my god, 3 to 1. Steadily pushing him back here. And there we go, he's finally building his heavy panzer corps. Comes with the Befeard Panzer Got 156 to 86. Panther, of course, died repairs. Also got the Pioneers upgrade with a 5 man squad upgrade. Thumbs up to that. Oh my god, 3 to 1, steadily building up his armored numbers here versus the Germans, the fascists. Good shot in the command tank there by the IS-2. Command tank shoots and of course misses. Pack 40 here under third command, does not. Shot bounced. Got the T-Fed farming in there, shot bounced again. And here's the new here. He's ripping through the machine gun crew here. Frost still fixing up his panther troop, reinforcing healing. Half track is retching to one now. He's going to make. Oh, going to grab. He's going to cost on the engineer squad. That could perhaps have an impact here. In this stage of the match here for Master Marius. Oh, about to lose the half track. It is retching too, but would be a shame if for Frost to lose it. Now he gets away with it. Panther's good to go for Frost. As for Flatchy. Not much out of here, Panzer Corps, though, even then, of course, still means, she means he's going to lose a bit cheaper between force. Panzer Corps getting a two target break point on the pack. Eyes to every tank. Shot bounced, though. Panzer Corps shot did not. And the pack gets wiped here by, oh my god, 3 to 1's Eyes 2. Need to crew them, of course. Got the Panther of North pushing straight to the Soviet. here. Going to go for that HD5. Pack 40 supporting here, but misses. Panther there, actually 2, though. Bit harder to hit. K1 bars managed to actually 3 and the ace level. 30 kills. That's pretty nice for the Soviets. And there you go. T35. They're knocked out by the Germans. Small win there for Flachi and the Third Reich. Oh my god. 3 to 1. Apparently not appreciating how many shots his eyes to has bounced. Bring it off there. Assault and hold again here. Direct hit on the eyes. Two trucks run straight at it. Betts and Gondias are certainly making mincemeat here of Master Mason. We've got the Panther Blitz again as well. Trying to help him with the eyes. They shoot a five there. There you go. Main gun out. Need to crew the pack 40. Pimps about to get wiped out. The Master Mason is dying at a pretty rapid pace here. Pack 40 crew though. Could take out the issue five. Come on, Tango to assist here. Master Marius is now in a really rough spot. We got a Panthers roll for Master Marius. That's for Frost. Well, he's got his half taken's infantry. Who needs any more? And of course, he'll in the front line. Thanks to Field First Aid. Storms with their need to retreat before they get turned into, well, corpse troopers, I guess. Pun. Machine gun, though, actually, good chance of getting wiped with the veteran gun ideas here, perhaps. We got 123 with the 278. We got the ice hoopling from the south here. Good shot there on the half track. And there we go. We got Flatch with the Panther, the Panzer Kampfwagen 5. Half track is near the ace level, causing gains expense from nearby units. Neat little element there, they added at some point. Panther 4, the Vecchi 2. Command tank bombarding away here. The Germans were taking good back to Ponco at this point. Eyes 2 rolling ahead here of North here. Vets and Gunny's healing up. Half to being fixed up. Got the Panther in force there for Flatchi and for Deutschland. Now the T for the for Oh my god, 3 to 1. Shock 2 was there, advancing on the northern victory point. Got 
The IS-2 there, 21 kills. Another T-35 there on the way for him. Master Marius, I'm guessing, perhaps another H-5, maybe another K-1, hard to say here. As for Frost, well, who knows what he's thinking. He's only holds out a rough one here. But he's still in the fight, courtesy of veteran grenadiers in the half-track. And of course the Stormtroopers, and he didn't get murdered. Panther, Panther 4 going for, oh my god, 3 to 1's IS-2 heavy tank here. Further the damage inflicted here. Shot, bounce off the Panther, that's pretty lucky. They do get a target weak point on the Panther, but the Gunners like to kill the crew fast, they can fire it off here, there we go. They do manage it, but the crew is dead and the IS-2 is almost toast here. Up north here, the Master Marys is in trouble, nomming into his sister's teammate here. Pack destroyed there by Flatchy. At this point, I suspect Frost is going to go for another Panther. We got the veteran Gunners as the shock troopers are quick to pop a smoke grenade there. And we do have a Panther check on the Stormtroopers now. I know I can't Panzer Buxa. I know off nowhere. South the S-Mount going from the Conscripts. Command tank moving in. More explosions, more death, more destruction. Grenades off here, Panther Shake flying off, not really hitting anything at that distance. Half taking himself to assist his teammate, thumbs up to Frost on that one. He can't go for a Panther now he wants to, which I assume he does. I assume that's what he does. Tip to go for it. And HD5 Tanks again here for Master Marius and the Red Army. And rolling heady half near the Aislo there, flanking the T-35, caught by the packs, and I think the Panthers roll there, taking a fair amount of damage. Could take out his T-35 there, came on Sultan Tobble here. Can the Panther get a shot through here? No! The H-35, or T-35 gets away there, but there we go, the K-1 Ace is almost there, Panther gaining red control there for Flat Chief Frost is on the way for another Panther aircraft crashing down here. The battlefield is alive in the south, we've got the command team bombarding, oh my god, forces here by the, I don't know, park? It used to be a park anyways. Panther moving forward here. Shoot bounces. Another hit there from the IS-2 goes through the Panther's armor. Panther meanwhile is bouncing off the IS-2. There you go. Pack for lance shot there for the IS-2 heavy armor. Not really seeing much flanking up north here. Frost is just at this point seemingly getting a bit exhausted, just relying mostly on head on assaults. I mean, he's going to charge in like that. He should just stop his troops in the half track, get them up close, pass the machine gun, and do it like that. Some mechanized infantry tactics here could do a lot of good here. In fact, I tend at times to find that when everyone is getting exhausted, mechanized infantry tactics can really just like, you know, push through what some people can manage because again, suddenly, like, you're just rushing infantry and they're just like, oh, what? Oh wait, second panther out there for Frost. Panther there for Flatchy you need repairs. Got the Ace K1 moving north. So this is really an impressive K1 when you think about it. 39 kills, Ace level, it suffered an immense amount of damage you just put through it all. Not like the r has been bad for Oh My God either. It's near the Ace level too. Lots of misses there, though, but not on the IS-2. It's a bit too big to miss, isn't it? We got 77 here, or 76 was 278 here. Good shot on the IS-2 there, pack some trouble here. In the south, we got the Contra train to the MD-42 here, and nine kills each level. Gunny's going for deep flank again, tactical moving here for Flatchy, thumbs up to that. I was two in dining repairs. He should fall almost down there from as well. As for Master Marius, he's adding more shock troops here to make up for the losses. North here comes control of the Panther and the infantry nearby. Half taken to provide an amply decent support point there for Frost Frontline Forces and of course his teammate. T for probably pushed back by Panther Shake and Pack 5 there. 73 versus 278. Panther need to repair C, but I guess Frost is just preoccupied with everything else to just repair it. It's going to force in again. They can reinforce from far, far you know, distance here. 
once like you know the half tick hits east of the ball right and the panda four veggie two goes down there in a blaze of glory shotman's about to get murdered out here though by frost and dust fastland fair amount of armor here for Oh my god, but most of it is needed repairs. Panther wing up here, close 32 there for Flatchy of North the Master Marius. I mean, he could try and consider like a deeper flank here against Frost, but uh, it's only more focused on just like small to, smaller scale attacks here that are from a, on a more narrow series of axes. Back for the same against the veteran I'm going to use again. We got 60 feet and we got 51. Really showing you what these guys are doing, particularly with like Assault and Hold and Veggie Fee. These are like really good and we can see the shot was just falling panther pushing forward against the hk1 there pack turning around here that's going to be forward and forcing at the front line here almost they're taking a lot of damage in the process 66 kills panther there veteran t1 rafkin into the engineers and conscripts casualties piling up it's a mountain of the dead here got 58 here pack veteran t3 a slip oh my god the h5 there panther fall back but he's rushing in the k1 into line for the pack with the shot bounces in a rare kc Panther falling back in the south here. K1's about to get knocked out. Who he did? I oh, misses it this time around. Pack is cleared out. Going for the center. Salt and hold. Also allowed to grab points faster here. So. Got the KVH then with that. Master Marius is looking uh, significantly weaker. Command tank rushing to assist the Frost in the center. Busy up north for the Stormtroopers. Going for deep flank there. Very slow deep flank, but it is a deep flank. We got pants of efforts for Frost. Honestly, at this point, I just consider calling in more stormtroopers to help grab the points. And we got GG there. That's by the Germans. North here, we've got the stormtroopers with their machine gun here. There you go, Master Marius pops out. And the storms will be making short work of the machine gun there, claiming it for Deutschland. There you go, Panzerwerfer for Frost. So now we just wait for, oh my god, I guess, to get out of the match here since Sturmpanzer out there for Flatchy. There you go, GG game over. Victory for the Wehrmacht. Pretty closely fought battle at times, but in the end, I think. Just tactically, the Serbs, I think, just got a bit through line. I guess, you know, the initial success that they had, then tried to adapt and try to, you know, add some elements, then try to move the Germans forward. So they just kept grinding themselves down. Most Germans slowly but surely, you know, you know, managed to sort of outplay them here and there. I think the addition of the Hartig, I think, again, was a good addition for Frost, but also just, you know, make good use of the veteran gun and this sort of hold, just like grind down some of these, you know, very brutal head on the sort from Master Marys, that way punishing for them, and sort of steadily that way gaining the advantage. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed this match. I learned something from it. If you did subscribe, like, share, comment on it. Tell friends, tell family. But don't tell enemies. This is Imperial Legion. Cheers. Thank you all for watching. And I hope to see you all tomorrow again for our last episode. Bye.